Hi, I'm Brett Larkin. I post new yoga videos to YouTube every single week, and I'm now posting yoga classes for total yoga beginners every Tuesday. So if you're new to yoga or interested in learning, make sure to like and hit subscribe. So Marie, I'm gonna show you this, and I know you've seen me do it in my yep. videos on YouTube, but this is a really critical movement that you're gonna see in so many yoga classes, lubricates the spine, it's an essential one to have a proper understanding of. So, Maria, what you'll do, and we'll watch you do it, we'll do it together, but you want your shoulders directly over your wrists, your hips directly over your knees. So you, this is called tabletop okay. position, yeah? And then cat-cow, <laughs> cat, you think of making a Halloween cat shape. So it's okay for your chin to dip into your chest, and I really visualize, like, you know on Halloween how you see those cats that people yeah. put, like, the scary yeah. Halloween cat shape? That's really what it is. So the chin goes down into the chest, you pull your belly button up towards the ceiling, and you, like, think of your tailbone moving towards your right. uh, space between your knees, yeah? And then when you come into up cat, or some teachers call this cow. I like to curl the toes into under to come into uh, up cat or cow, but we'll see what works for Murray and you can try both at home. It's really whatever works best in your body. So we go from this deep rounding to arching across now the upper back. So the toes can curl under. This is the piece that everyone misses is that your belly button, your navel is still pulling up towards the ceiling. So your abs are hugging in and engaged even as you open across wow. the chest. So you don't wanna just let your abs go and be like booty, booty sticking out, right? It's like the abs are contained here and then they're contained even more um, as we come into the Halloween cat shape. So coming out of our Halloween cat shape, we keep that core engagement and then we'll see in Murray's body, but it's helpful to maybe micro bend the elbows so you pull the abs in even as you're opening across the chest. And this is the other thing I see everyone do is that they throw their head back, right? They want to try to arch more in the upper chest by throwing their head back in space. And that can actually really damage your neck. So you want to just keep the head in line with the rest of the spine. So let's take a look for Murray. I set this blanket down because I think for a lot of beginners, having a blanket under your knees is critical to just protect your knees, to make the postures feel safer. So we just grabbed this from his couch. Murray, why don't you come on in? Okay. So knees on the blanket, and then your hips are directly over your knees and your shoulders are directly over your wrists. Let's take a look at his hands, because remember in yoga we always work from the ground up, so we're focusing on our foundation first. I want him to spread his fingers really wide and press down through the index finger, knuckle, and thumb particularly, okay. right? Okay, yep. so that's gonna help you feel a lot stronger. So let's come into the rounding uh, Halloween cat shape first. And should my feet be up or down now? Oh, so great question. I would leave them down for right now. Okay. But again, you can see what feels best for you and your body. There's no one size fits all here. Okay. So you're going to draw your belly button up towards the ceiling, bring your chin into your chest to make that Halloween cat shape. So more, 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 more. Like think of tucking your hips under lengthening your tailbone to the space between your knees. More, 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 more. Okay, pull your abs up towards the ceiling. Now really let your head go. Good. So this is his cat. Now you're gonna come into cow, also sometimes called up cat, it's confusing. There you go, so he's starting, he's opening across the chest. Keep your abs engaged so the belly doesn't splay out. Good, and then try micro bending your elbows and softening the shoulders, opening across the chest. There you go. Now, especially for men or people with broad shoulders, it might be helpful to take the hands a little bit wider. Wider. So he has a tiny bit more space, just since he's brand new to yoga. Um, how does it feel with the hands a little bit wider? Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that's better. You like it a little yes. bit better? Yeah. Okay, so again, this is stuff you can test out and try at home. Try it with the toes curled under as you come into uh, in the arch shape. Do you feel like you can get a little bit more of an arch? Or do you like it with the feet uh, uh, down? My, it feels more natural to have my feet under. Like Toes curled under, yeah. I agree. I think it does too, but again, you see at home what's gonna work for you. And then Murray again, he's like, he wants to be a good student. He knows we're kind of like opening in this position, so he's kind of lifting his chin. But I'm gonna encourage him to just keep the back of the neck neutral 
and to try to think of dropping between his shoulder blades. And this is a really difficult action, especially for people with broad shoulders. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add the breath and try to come into this on a dynamic movement. I think your arms are a little wide. Let's bring them a little closer together. And remember, spread those fingers. Okay. okay, so adding the breath, this is an inhale, and then an exhale is gonna happen when you look at your belly button and come into the Halloween cat shape, okay? okay. So breathe out. Breathe out, <laughs> breathe out, and here we go. Now, breathe in and arch the upper back. There we go, okay. Let's do it a couple more times. So, exhale, draw the abs up and in. Yep, he's finding the motion in his hips, good. Inhale, keep your abs lightly engaged, but draw your shoulder blades down your back. Micro bend the elbows, there you go. You're opening across the chest, beautiful. Couple more, exhale. Deeply, deeply round, pull the navel up towards the sky. Inhale, open, broaden across the chest. Think collarbones and shoulder heads back. That's good, nice. And exhale once again to round. Now what questions do you have here? Because I'm sure your questions are the same ones people have at home who are trying this. And you can come out of the pose now if you want. <laughs> so it's hard to, I'm now thinking about several different things at once. So you're yes. trying to get all of that right. And as you, you're right, as you, as you go up, mm -hmm. it's so natural to just put your head up to the ceiling and it's so hard not to do that because you feel like yes. that's what you should be doing. Yes. That's, the, that's the real, that's the challenge with that. Yeah, so you at home, be mindful of that, right? You're gonna wanna lift the chin, resist that urge. I know it's so hard, I've been there and he feels it too. But really what we want in that upcat shape is for the chest to open. And by throwing your chin up, you really can seriously damage your neck and cause more neck pain and strain, which is obviously not why you're interested in yoga. Uh, Any other observations? What about when you did the Halloween cat shape? That one I think is a little bit easier. Yeah, because it's just taking it, but you don't, then you don't know, should you be moving your hips or not? Or should you, your hips be still? Yeah. What should be happening at the, the, the back end? Yes. While you're doing the front but end. But you did a really good job and hopefully it will, we'll see it in the video. Like you really started figuring out how your yeah. hips. Kind of wiggle back and forth. Wiggle yeah. back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great job. Thank you. Hey, if you like this video, you are going to love my free pure beginner master the basics yoga class. Not only do I cover the top 10 yoga poses you're most likely to encounter as a beginner, but I give you a downloadable cheat sheet showing you exactly how to do each of these moves so you know you're doing them correctly. Let's banish the fear and confusion of doing it wrong. Let's master the basics together. Go to brettlarkin.com forward slash beginner for your free download and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste.